Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at one of the best design floor plans out there from Integra. This is the all new 2021 Integra Vision XL model 34G. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at a Vision XL 34G. It's just a really great floor plan design, and I love how we optioned it with the full body paint. It looks fantastic. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everyone. How's it going? It's going what a beautiful day today. It's a beautiful day and it's a beautiful motorhome. Oh my God. I, was I cannot this. wait till you guys see it. Yeah, let's begin. Okay, so this is a, if you're not familiar with the Vision XL, it's not to be confused with the Integra Vision. Integra Vision is their entry level and the Integra Emblem is the high end level for the Class A gas. This one falls right in the middle and I love it. Model is 34G, but the actual tip to tip length is 36 feet, six inches. This is the Integra Vision XL with the full body paint. It looks fantastic. And what I love that Integra does is these nice headlights. And what I love about this particular brand, they didn't change anything from the 2020s. Well, not much anyway, to the 2021s, which that's what I'm a big fan of. Hey, Andrea, if it ain't broke, don't fix exactly. it. Exactly. Here's what they did change though. It is on the new Ford V8 engine. Look at it's, that. Yep. It's the 7.3 liter V8 Godzilla <laughs> engine. It's 350 horsepower with 468 foot pounds of torque. Really awesome. Oh, oh. guess what, Andrea? This is our first Integra Class A. Um, that ha no, 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 we've already done another one, but with the new dash on the inside, it looks fantastic. Because this is a Vision XL, it has the Easy Drive Elite system, which is a computer balanced drive shaft and it's just gonna drive fantastic. Right up here, we do have nice chrome mirrors with cameras integrated in it. You have your left side, right side in reverse. And then check out these tires, Andrea. They're Michelin's. 235-80R22.5 with Alcoa rims. I absolutely love that. Awesome. Now check this out. Uh-oh. Oh, right. That's just a little storage compartment. But check this out. Right here, the storage doors, oh. because this is not as high end as the emblem, it doesn't have the aluminum slam latch doors, but I love how big these doors are. And even though they're fiberglass, they are still slam latch. I love that. Oh, the paint job looks great. It looks great. Frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. And we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. And look how long that is. Wow. Very nice. Love the pattern underneath. And guys, if you can see over the door, there is an awning over the door as well. Yeah, very nice. And Andrea said it, I love the pattern. Great job. Right here, look at this. You got entertainment center, insignia TV, Furion speakers, DVD player right there. Very, very nice. Right there, we got a little bit more storage. That's great. I like that there's no carpet in there. Yeah, very, very nice. Okay, great. Awesome. Matt, look at that. Yep, oh man, yeah, so this is where the furnace is, and the fact that they continue to paint is really awesome. Oh, Over nice. here, look, I love what Integra does with the Mori battery tray. These batteries are heavy, so you pull that out. Oh, nice. And that's how you access it. Very, very nice. Here's your propane tank and a propane quick connect if you want to have a barbecue outside. Uh, the, I don't know the propane tank sizes, but we'll have all the specs, lengths, tank sizes, whips, everything down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody who's watching on TV. Andrea. Yes. That awning feels good, don't it? It does. It, it, it's a nice breeze right now. That awning feels good. Hey, anytime you get covered from the sun, it's great. Yep. 
Look at that, more pass-through storage. I love that. That's a great amount. This motorhome, I'm telling you, it has a great amount of storage. Okay. And then more storage right there. Very nice. Oh, I like how the ladder's lower like that. Yes, coming around the back, you have a nice fiberglass rear cap, 5,000 pound hitch, this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. And then you have a backup camera right there. Also, you have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. Hope you did your stretches. Here we go now. Hold on. All right, up here on the roof, you can see this nice one piece fiberglass roof. You have not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. You do have Max Air fans installed. There's your King Air digital antenna. And then right here, you can see that it is prepped for solar. Hold on. Here we go now. Matt, take your time. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm going to invest in a drone. No drone. What about the days when it's rainy? Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof, show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. And Andrea. Yes. You can get in the shade real quick. I wanna, I wanna tell everybody update. Week three of the diet. Um, I don't feel skinnier than last week, but I've been killing on the diet. Here's a picture from last week. Bing. And here's a picture from when we first began. Bing. So hopefully we can see some uh, comparisons. You're I hope doing so. a great job. And everybody, thank you so much for the support that you give Matt. It does really encourage him. Thanks, y'all. Right here, um, here's your water heater. It's a 10 gallon DSI water heater. Here's the other side of your storage. It's a 50 amp cord. See, we could have ran the cord like through that, but since we're if we were at a campsite, we would so that this door wouldn't have to stay open. Right here, it's a fuel capacity, fuel tank fill up. It is 80 gallons. And oh. then right here, look at this. I love that. Interesting. Black and gray tank dump. Look how high it is. You know, yeah. that is so nice. No bending down. Yes. Well, a little bit of bending. Yeah, Ooh. but not as More low. like squatting. You ready for this? Yes. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful, simple. And the fact that they're able to keep this primarily storage as well, it's just really they nice. They did a great job. Yeah. You know, right here and here's the other, other side, side of storage. Great storage for a gasoline motorhome. And then right here is your Cummins Onan 5500 generator. Well, Andrea, it's a little bit more storage because you can never have enough. I know. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Oh, I can't wait to see. Cargo carrying capacity, Andrea, 3,409 pounds. Wow. Okay. As you guys can see, oh, I lost my shoe. Thank you. Oh, I'm Cinderella, look. <laughs> lost your shoe. <laughs> All right, so look at this, the slides are in. So as you can see, it does have a little walkway. Have to maneuver a little bit, but once you get past the dinette and all, it, it's good. Yep. So as you can see here, you can get to the bathroom. And yes, the bed is accessible with the slide in. Love it. Yeah, so. Oh. So pros and cons about the uh, opposing slides. A big pro is how spacious it's about to be. One of the cons, both slide outs come in to make the walkway a little bit more narrow. It is all good. And while the slide outs are coming out, we've got a huge favor to ask everybody. If you could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you love about this motorhome and three things you don't like about it. We do know Integra does read the comments. And as you guys are about to see, they made some changes based off of our recommendations. And we don't mean Matt and Andrea's recommendations. We mean you, the RV, RV review crew. Really crew. Trust me, the manufacturers, I talk to them on a daily basis. They are reading your comments. They appreciate them. So any comment you have for Integra, positive or negative, believe me, they need the positive ones because they always want to make changes. It's like, well, hold up. Don't make too many changes if it's a good thing. So three things and three things. That is awesome. Thank you, we guys. We are changing the RV That's world. That's right. You guys are awesome. All right. So let's get started up here. 
Wow. Look at this. I like that. It's I a new Ford V8 dash. engine. Yeah, we have seen the dash. I did make a mistake. But it's your new Ford V8. Uh, here's your auto leveling right here. Everything's at the push of a button. And then look, it's just a more modern, up to date steering wheel. You can see your gauges and everything. And then here's your screen right here. Andrea, do you want to sit in my co captain seat? Sure. And then look how low the doghouse is when Andrea walks over it. Yeah, you see? That's nothing. All right. A big improvement right there. I, I love it because they never had one before. Well, or. Or that was very cheesy it, plastic. Yeah, the cheesy yeah, plastic. It was. It was cheesy plastic, but this is much more durable. Yep, like I love it. it place for your cell phone here electrical outlet oh and, and that's beaded right USB so your cell phone port? doesn't yep, slip exactly oh same right oh oh it's like a rubber awesome both sweet both seats do swivel there is a pedal stable pedestal table that goes there awesome and then we have some cabinetry up here yeah very nice a little bit on that side love the shade yep shade right there and over here oh the bunk over the cab is my one of my favorite features you guys holds a whopping 750 pounds that's oh, the most wow, wow. in the rv industry so look um you still have to uh turn oh, the seat no. around okay um or you're gonna damage it but yes as andre said 750 pounds and it's awesome and honestly i mean yeah is that a dislike yeah but you know for everything that you're getting in this motorhome with the brakes, I mean, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> Definitely. And as you can see, I noticed at the door right here, you have shades oh, where the window is. Oh, great point. Yeah, that's awesome. So. So you open the screen up. Dang, Nabbit. There you go. Nice. That's cool. That's very good. Oh, very observant, Andrea. Yes, I am. All right, so in here in the living area, I love this. Look at this. You have your theater seats. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, we're going. Oh, oh, all the way back. Snap. Yep, and it is not directly across, but for the most part, directly across from the television. I do love that. With this motor home, you know, it's, it's not a 40-footer, so it won't be directly, directly across. You have your cabinetry above. Very nice. Hidden hinge cabinetry at that. Okay, the balances are okay. What I do like is I like the ambiance light above the slides. Mm. One of my favorite things that Integra does. Yep, and you got daytime shades and privacy shades. The slow rise. Over here, we have a sofa right here. This does make a bed. Now this makes a trifold bed. Oh yeah. So this is for your non-paying customers, but yep. at least it's not you know a small. Jack yes, knife. at least not a jack knife. Oh, no, it's an air mattress. Oh, oh, sorry, guys. No, no, but I mean, actually, it's a trifold air mattress, so it's a little bit. Yeah. Better. So that's cool. I Again, mean, you as Andrea said, non-paying You customers. still could use it. You know that? Because it's still soft enough. Yeah. And look, you got a televator. Yep. TV right here. A little bit below. And then why I love televators is because if you're not the type who wants to watch TV and you want to look out at your campsite, yep. you got a mountain or something, then uh, <laughs> there's your window right there. Exactly. And there is a USB electrical outlet. And you know, I got a comment. I like these colors on the slides. Yeah, it's I like nice. the light and dark. I like how it's not just dark and bulky. Yep. Over here, Andrea, we got a little bit of wardrobe space. Cabinetry. I love how they added the fireplace. And they have some Yep. cute backsplash yep what's real great about that fireplace is when you get these opposing slot uh the the double seating area you don't get a fireplace because they can't put the fireplace on your tv right so at least they have it because it's a great electric heater and then here's the dinette i mean it does drop down to make a bed do we have storage underneath yes yep you do have storage underneath awesome. the dinette and it does drop down to make a bed and you do have cup holders well, Andrea, it's now time, as great as the dinette is, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. This is a great price. MSRP on this motorhome here is $179,851 MSRP. 
for 2021. We have it sale price 34% off. Even though it's a 2021, which is insane, to 119995. Wow. That is a phenomenal price, especially with the full body paint option on it. Now, Andrea, I don't even know if I can get anybody an even better price than that, but we will always try. Andrea, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out our website, mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page on the website. Andrea, let's continue the video. Matt. Yes. I want to comment on the floor. Uh -huh. I like it a lot and I like that there's no vents in it. Oh, very nice. All very, right. very good observation. Okay, so here's the kitchen. Uh huh. Oh, I do oh, like the kitchen. Well, hang on, hang on. I said uh huh. I didn't mean to say uh huh. We had a, a customer who told me to stop saying uh huh. <laughs> so, okay. yes. I'm going to say yes now. Look at these. They made a change to the handles. Uh, I oh, like yes. that. Okay, so we have shelf in here. Your That's like your uh, DVD, DVD player, player Blu-ray or whatever. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. You got a window here in the kitchen with the shade. Very nice. All right, so I don't know. I like the solid surface countertop. Uh -huh. Yep. Oh my goodness. We I say uh-huh a, a lot, don't I? I like it. Rectangle yes. sink. We do have an extension here. Oh, okay. We got three drawers. Oh, sorry. I lied again. Two and Sponges. a half. <laughs> Two and a half. Two and a half. Very nice. Nice. That's a big drawer down here. Got a cabinet. I do like this cabinetry. Cabinetry's nice. Wow, and I'm usually really picky. Perfect space for a trash You know can. what I think it is? I think the light countertops and a light floor yes. just makes it look yeah, good. Yeah, and I like the handles. They're cute. Got a, another cabinet up here above yes. the convection microwave. Ooh. Very nice. Is that a convection microwave? Uh, it is. Yes. Wow. It's metal on it. And look, we get a three burner cooktop with glass cover. Very nice. I like this backsplash. It looks good with everything else. Yes, ma'am. And look at this. You got, they get an oven. A Ooh. nice Furion oven. Wow. <laughs> you remind me of the Minions. When you're like, ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> and look, very cute. Nice. Oh my gosh, Matt. Look at this refrigerator. Look at this Whirlpool, you guys. Ice maker. Filtered water. Oh, Beautiful. wow. That feels good, too. You can feel it. Oh, yeah. For sure. In. Very nice. Very nice. And then, oh, I'm a little in, more pantry space or wardrobe. You can use it both I think ways. I'm in love with this one already. Yes, ma'am. Look and at this. And it is prepped for a combo washer dryer. Very nice. Very nice. Cool. Over here in the bathroom. Look Pocket at the door on the bathroom. Look at the shower. Nice. It's a 30 by 36 shower. Andrea, look how much space I have in it. Wow. I like it, you know, to just, you know, I'm a bigger guy, but even if you're not bigger, it's just nice to have this type of size in the shower. I like the glass door and it is fantastic. This is really cute, actually. I'm trying to think, was it like this in the, the last year's model? Well, actually, we didn't do a review on this one. I was going to say, because I, I don't remember yeah, seeing this setup. I, we did this one with Jen back in Leo's. Very nice. Good mm -hmm. medicine cabinet, good size. Another cabinet over here with three shelves. Very nice. Got a fan up there. Yes, ma'am. I like that there's a window. Towel holder. I love that there's counter space in here. Yes, ma'am. Cute modern sink. Cabinets here. Mm -hmm. Towel rack. Electrical oh. outlet. All right. All right, let's see, Matt. You know what time you get, it is. You get the final say. We get the, you know it. Here we go. Time for the toilet test. Oh, yeah. Andrea, Andrea, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is my height too. I love the height of this. This is comfortable, I'm relaxed, you know. I can get down to business. This is a prime pooping position and I absolutely love it. Great job. This is nice, very uh, nice. It, you know, I think so far Integra's done a great job. You know it. Cool, over here, finishing up with the bedroom. We got a pocket door on the bedroom, you guys. Very, yep. very, I like the entryway here. Here's Big your storage doors right there. Wardrobe. Wardrobe, storage behind the television. I like that. 
We have a little place right there with an emergency exit. Matt, we have drawers under the wardrobe. Uh-huh. Very nice. That's one. That's two. And that's three. And then three. the other wardrobe. I, yep. I really, really like these lights above the slides. Yep, very nice. Over here in the bed, looks like it's a king size bed. We have storage. No. Yes. Oh, yeah. We do, deep okay, storage. Okay, cool. That's kind of a pain, it's kind of heavy, but it's no big deal. But it has a little uh, little stand there to keep it open. Yes. King size bed. Oh, they give you nightstands yep, with blue. drawers. Wait, or is that a cabinet? No, it's a cabinet door. That's a big deal. Yes. And then we have big storage above there. We have these lights and everything. Is there a um, uh, nightstand on the side of yes, that one? Yes, there is. Awesome. Um, very cute. Very nice. But Andrea. Yes. As nice as it is, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Okay, I got two. I gotta go. Can I go first since I'm right here? Yes, ma'am. All right. The one thing I am gonna say is I, I don't like this. It's oh, is it because you just tripped on it yes, twice? it's out too far. <laughs> it's yep. out too far. And no, I, I can 100% yeah, see Yeah, maybe if it was just a little bit more in. Or a little bit more flush. Yes, because me, I was falling on it yep. already. I mean, you did trip twice. Yes. <laughs> but, but, guys, props. Give props to Andrea. You guys probably didn't even know she tripped because she held that camera so yes. still. <laughs> Great job, Andrea. Okay, so that's one dislike. Number two is... I feel like there was something. Oh, I got I got number two and three. So number two is the bunk over the cab, right? As you can look right here, I mean, it, it's going to scratch the side of it if you're not careful. You know, it's gonna be, look at that. It's going to be that one right there. And it's not going to scratch the side of it if you always remember to turn this chair around. But how many people who don't watch this video is going to drop it down before they realize, yes. you know? And so I just don't like that. Or they should make like a warning little sticker yes, thing. Yes, for sure. Hey, turn your chair to drop the bed. Yes. You know, edu just educating the customer. Because when the customer knows, it's no big deal. So that's two. And then three. You ready for this one, Drea? Right now, see, oh, if I can see this. In my peripherals, I have this up to my face. You cannot see the screen, it's right there, right? If the screen was up here, Andre, could you put your hand like right there? Right, and, and like, then you could see it, right? And so I can look straight and see out of my corner of the eye, right there. Instead of looking far, instead so far of down. looking so far yes. down, 100%. I agree. And the only reason why I knew that is because when I parked this motor home back here, I was like, hey, where's my screen? And it was just a little bit far down. Just, you know, that's it. Now, those are the three things we don't like. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. Andre, do you wanna go first again? You go first. Okay, well, I'm gonna end with that. Um, so, what I'm gonna say is, here's the first thing. We're, we're gonna stay inside, it's hot, okay. it's hot. I love the exterior storage. It is absolutely fantastic. The amount of, this motorhome's like a diesel as far as the storage of capability, both interior and exterior. But the amount of storage that you have underneath, I mean, goodness gracious, we kept opening compartment doors and it was more and more and more. Also, I love how they did not put carpet in the storage underneath. Yes. So that's one. Two, Andrea. Uh, okay, I love the cabinetry in here. And really, okay. Yes, I do, I actually like it a lot and I like the handles. Well, here's what I'm gonna very, say. Very cute. I'm gonna add to that. I'm not gonna say the cabinetry. I'm just gonna say the contrast. I love the white and then the dark and then the light and then the dark and then the light backsplash. I yes. think it looks very good, especially at that price point. This price point, you know, don't get me wrong. It's not your tier, it's not your tier four motorhomes with the shiny high gloss and everything. But to save 10, 15, $20,000 and have it still be this nice hidden hinge cabinetry, I love it. So that's two. Oh. 2.5, I love the fridge, yes. but I'm not gonna end on this. Here's what I'm gonna end with. 
I'm gonna end in this bathroom. A 30 by 36 shower. I absolutely love that. As you guys know, Andre and I were buying a motorhome and one of the biggest parts of my decision was having a 36 by 30 uh, yes. motorhome. We got a class C, but you know, that's just such a big deal. And then this toilet being the primest of pooping positions, I, I just absolutely love it. Well, that's it. That's the review. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews. Ooh, let me get, let me get over here. Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or my, call my cell. It's 301-906-0962 or check out our website, mattsrvreviews.com. We do sell official Matt's RV Review stickers bing, for you to put on the back of your RV. And there's also a contact me page below. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. We know Integra does read the comments and we're changing RV history, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, you guys. All right. Thanks so much, Andrea. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.